I'm going to do uh, in the next, I don't know, hour or two, I hope, is fit the toilet cover. And you might have seen uh, this uh, done in various different ways before, but basically it's like having another worktop across here, um, which is, uh, which makes it a lot more useful than uh, just this. What we find is that if you go in this cupboard, for example, and you want to take things out of the cupboard, like normally all our wash bags and stuff is in there, and you put them on here, uh, things gradually just slide off onto the floor. Um, likewise, when you come back with your shopping and things like that, it's nice to be able to have somewhere flat to load things into the rear of the van. Uh, and you see that's not very flat and it also gets easily marked. The other thing is, uh, although it doesn't look that bad, I think it'd be nice if it was disguised a little bit. So uh, I bought a piece of worktop which is the same as the manufacturer or the Westphalia style, even with this trim, to fit there. So it'll do many things. You can use it as an additional seat while you're getting dressed. It protects the toilet, means you can put things down on it, another preparation surface in the kitchen. So, uh, you know, and I think it's going to look a lot nicer. The other thing is when you're using this area as a, uh, as a boot, then here, uh, unless you put a towel or something on it, it's not very well protected. So if we want to put our soot board or uh, another big bag here, then we've got a flat surface there. It'll be really useful for us. So let's make a start. This kit I bought to fit the cross here has a template and I fit that template around here to enable me to drill the holes in the right place that then I can access from the inside of the cupboard. And there's also another one to fit up here and that holds the, uh, the magnet or the stay for when the, uh, the worktop comes up and it magnetizes into position. And there's also a replacement for this, which is a pretty flimsy thing and actually very often drops out onto the floor and it's just this plastic magnetized cover which fits on here to conceal uh, all the, uh, the, the toilet bits and pieces. Um, and you'll see there's a, a lot nicer one that passes on here um, with a little stopper down here as well to stop the bottom end from uh, going out. So let's get on and have a go. Instructions? Don't need instructions. So that is the new end plate for the toilet and you can see it's exactly like a Westphalia part. You would never expect that that is not Westphalia. It's so nicely done and in fact it just goes straight on already. There's the, uh, the magnetic stopper which is going to go up here and this is the actual piece of worktop. You see it's got some very nice hinges machined into it so it's got a very very high standard it's just like the manufacturer would provide um, so I'll put a link in the description as to exactly where I bought this from so the last thing I want to do is get holes in the wrong place in the cupboard so uh, I am going to scan the QR code and just make sure I am installing it right rather than trying to look afterwards after I've made a mistake. If you scan the QR code like this, uh, it says YouTube QR code. So we'll open that. And here we go. This is Oliver from the nuggetstore.de. And uh, that's the man who supplied me with uh, this um, uh, toilet cover. Uh, they don't call it that, they call it the um, Ab Deccan. Uh, uh, Oliver also supplied me with this Max fan. Great, so if we press play, and, uh, I think he's going to talk you through it. Das benötigte Werkzeug habe ich hier schon bereitgelegt. Verbaut werden müssen. Hier unsere vier Löcher sauber, Max. 
markiert. Jetzt kommt das Bohren. Um, obviously, I think you're going to feel a little bit nervous drilling through this. Uh, I certainly am. Particularly when you notice that uh, that's where I've not uh, the hole where the hole's got to go using the template. But if you look on this side, it's actually going to show. It's not going to be inside the cupboard. And what I'm afraid about is when I drill through, it's going to create an unsightly sort of splinter. I'm going to put some uh, masking tape on this side. And then uh, also, as soon as the point of the drill starts to show through, I'll then drill from this side, going back the other way. What am I doing? Hope it's worth it. Okay, we should have the hole this side. And now drill back through from that side and then repeat the process for the other three. Just finishing off the holes with this uh, mitre drill bit, you use a bigger drill, just so you don't have any bits uh, sort of sticking out after you've drilled it. So there, these are the magnetic parts and then we're now going to install the little stopper which is this thing in there just to stop the bottom end from coming out. So another little problem I thought of with this, um, it's easily solved. Imagine if that is on the end like this and somebody's on the toilet and they push against there even with the little stopper in here uh, this could fall out and imagine if it then falls onto the gravel uh, it will make a real mess of this lovely end panel and uh, you know these kits are not cheap so what I'm going to do is just behind here put a little bit of webbing or a strap which fastens into the toilet somehow so, so you just put that on whenever uh, you replace the end panel after uh, emptying the cassette and then if someone does knock this, it's not going to fall completely out. Right, do you notice anything different? Yeah. What do you think? It's a lid on a lid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lid on a lid. But doesn't it tidy it up? And also, you can now put things on there. You it could be a table. It's like a little table. If you want to eat on the toilet lid, yes, you could do that. <laughs> Where's the biscuits? Where's the biscuits here, yeah, of course. But you can see, if you come in with your shopping, you can put that there. We can put other things on it. If you're getting dinner ready, you can put stuff on there. It's great, isn't it? Or you can sit on there to put your socks on. And if you try lifting, the, um, lifting it now, and you'll see what happens. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, is this, did you get inspired so now, by the uh, Swiss people? Um, well, we already bought this before we went to the Swiss meet, but we didn't have time to fit it. So, uh, but now it's fitted. But there was someone with it there and it was brilliant. So look at that, great, isn't it? I like how it's magnetic. So now put it back down. Nice, isn't it? And it looks the same as everything else. I'm sitting on the lid that lids the lid. <laughs> the lid on the lid. <laughs> oh, that's that's the uh, Max fan. Just starting up. <laughs> it's on automatic. That's the other thing that we've installed. Fancy, 
Right, we'll all come to look at the new toilet lid. Oh, we'll <laughs> Right, see what you think. Ooh, look at that. What do you cool. think, Holly? And it's going to be like a subscribe. Yeah. It's um, exactly the same as the top, isn't it? Doesn't it look good now it's in? Yeah, it does actually. And it matches the... Uh, can't see it's a bit dark in here. Yeah, Let's do that. that. There we go. And I really the, like it. The edging is the same, so it's like the manufacturers fitted it. And actually, why the manufacturers don't fit that, I don't know, because it is awesome, because it hides the toilet a little bit as well. Yeah. So if you want to go, you just do that. That's it. Keep going. Oh, yeah. There you go. You don't feel like it's going to fall down on you. It's quite, um, it's quite, it's got quite a pull on that. Yeah. So even if you forgot and drove along with it up, I think it'd yeah. be okay. Because I was a bit concerned yeah. that, yeah, ooh, it takes my way. Mm. I was a bit concerned that it would be like a bit of a faff for the kids when they need the wee, but they could do this. They could do that. So yeah. that's easy, look. Yeah. And there's, a, there's something extra I have fitted. And that is, if you sat on the toilet there with the boot open, you could say, well, how often do you do that? But obviously, we often do, don't we? Particularly um, if you've got privacy at the back. If someone knocks that there, that will fall onto the gravel and ruin itself. Oh, was it not attached on? Well, it's only got the magnets. But watch, ready, demonstrate. Someone knocks it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Safety strap. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You thought that was going then, didn't you? It did. Ooh, well Very good, eh? Really pleased with that. It was expensive though. It was expensive. 435 euros plus delivery. But if I'd done if I'd done it myself, then it wouldn't look this good. You know, because you've got to even up exactly the right materials, the right edging.